Hey guys, it's Charlie Carbs and Cycling here. Welcome to my video. Make sure you give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and leave a comment down below. I hope you enjoy. Bye. Sing it. Sing it. All right, so you might have seen recently that Fortune Air Samsic, who are going to the Tour de France, have decided they don't want to ride look bikes. Now, this is a very interesting development because most people spend a lot of time figuring out which bike sponsors they want, and they take a lot of time to figure out which bikes are best for each rider, on what stage. They might even do some predictions of maybe they'll ride an aero bike on this stage, a lightweight climbing bike on this stage. Um, so, you know, a lot of work goes into the bikes, especially the fit for the riders. Um, so it's very, very strange that someone would change their bike this close to the Tour de France. I mean, I don't think I can remember a team changing their... I mean, teams don't really change their bikes midway through the season, let alone be before the biggest race of the season for Fortunato Samsic. So anyway, Luke was supplying the team's bikes, frames, pedals and wheels for the past four seasons. Um, so yeah, that's pretty... I don't really know why they said that, because they're actually doing their own Karima wheels, but uh, maybe Karima is part of look. I'm not 100% sure. I guess that must be, that must be the case. Our collaboration has been a success based on a common passion and shared desire to support and promote French professional cycling and national, national industrial, industrial know-how. Fortuno Samsic and Look Cycle share the ambition for growth. We, with, we wish each other all the best for the future, starting with the 2018 Tour de France, they said in a joint statement. Now, I mean, like, this is already getting rumour mills started. So anyway, I had a little look at the comments because I didn't really know what anyone's saying. Anyway, a bit of bring your own bike. How bad does a piece of equipment? Anyway, keep going down, keep going down, keep going down. Um, Boggy isn't even racing a look frame. Apparently, Boggy was not. So this guy uh, linked this other website, which we've got here, uh, and it has uh, some sort of French uh, cycling forum. And he found the photo uh, in the race of the Boucle de Lon. And uh, here he is. His Buon Bargui, and you might be like, oh, that doesn't look exactly like a look frame, but it's got look on it. It's got the 785, um, and there's a look 785 below. So um, I'll zoom out a little bit. Um, actually, I'll just, just duplicate this so you can see both the frames, um, and then you'll be able to see. So, all right, there's the look 785 frame, and there is his frame. Um, so and it's, you have to think, though, like, your bike must be really bad if you wanted to swap it and ride a different one. Um, so you can see here, we've got some pretty obvious differences. Um, so if you look at the forks, that's the obvious thing. These forks are very narrow here, and the look forks are, um, well, sorry, the, this mystery bike, which is actually the Argon Gallium Pro, as it says here. The forks are a lot wider. Uh, you can also see, if you look around the uh, seat post area, um, there's just a little bit more like def like sort of height where the seat post is. Well, here you can see the seat post is pretty much straight. Um, you can see that there's not much room there on the seat post. Seat stays look pretty similar, slightly different angle. Um, chain stays, again, don't look the same. You can see there's even different paint here with the look there and then the 785 there. Um, actually, no, sorry, that's the same. So here you can see is uh, Roman Bardet, I mean, not Roman Bardet, <laughs> uh, Warren Bargui riding uh, his bike again. Uh, and you can see this is the look 785 below um, the, the Uez version, like the Abdul Uez. Anyway, so you're wondering, like, why would he change the bike? Again, we can have a little look at the Argon um, bike here, just to confirm that it is definitely the Argon. You can see, if you look at the, this bike and that bike, they are, in fact, identical bikes. You can even see the little the housing here and all the rest of it. Chain stays, all look good. Forks look the same. So you think... <clears throat> It must be pretty, pretty bad. Uh, like my, the bike must be really shit if you didn't want to ride it. Because I heard, you know, people seem to say it's decent, decent bike. But then it takes another turn because instead of going to Argon, which you're like, yeah, they probably would. Like if he was riding an Argon, you feel like, yeah, he probably would change to Argon. But no, Fortunato Samsic then signed with BH. And you're like, well, hang on a minute. Like, well, why wouldn't <laughs> like? Like, if you were going to change to BH, like, they must have had this, you know, decently, like, you know, they must have known about it quite a long time ago. Like, you're not just going to change it overnight. You're not <clears throat> suddenly going to be like, yeah, we want to change your bikes. So they then decided to go to BH, which you're then like, is very odd again, because why would you want to change to BH? I mean, it's just, it's just absolute chaos, really. Like, if you're changing to BH, then, like, surely the people must have... Like, they must have tried it before. Like, I don't know, because surely, like, 
I just, I just don't understand. Like, it makes no sense to me because you think, like, so what must have happened? All right, sure. For me, what must have happened is Bargy was like, I don't like the bike. And well, they basically, this is Bargy's team, more or less. So then they were like, okay, well, we need to get him a different bike. So maybe he tried the Argon and was like, yeah, I like this bike. Um, and then look, we're like, well, mate, you can't like not ride our bike. Like you've got to ride our bike. And then maybe Bargy was like, well, I'm, I'm not going to ride your bike. And then it got to the situation where the, the general manager, old Uber, was then like, well, we can either have Bargy unhappy on a look bike or we have to change bikes. I don't think they could go forward and have the situation where he be, wouldn't be riding a look bike because Luke are paying a lot of money for them all to ride look bikes. Like, even if it says look on it, it's obvious that it's not. And it just, it's just not really acceptable anymore. I feel like back in the day, maybe it was more acceptable. Now, definitely not. Um, so then after that, they must have then maybe t contacted Argon and been like, yo, can we have your bikes or something? And maybe Argon were like, well, no, we sponsor Astana. Like, don't really have enough money to, like, sponsor you. Like, you'll have to buy the bikes or something. And they were like, nah, nah, we'll leave it. And then maybe they were just, like, poaching around, seeing who else would do it. And BH had lost um, uh, Direct Energy um, because Direct Energy didn't get in the Vuelta Espana. So they were like, nah, we don't want you anymore. Uh, and they changed to Willia's, Willia, um, Willia's, <laughs> Willia. And then they must have then just decided, all right, BH is the bike to go. But surely I feel like the guys must have been training on BHs like for maybe a month before, a couple of weeks before at least, because you've got to change all your positioning. Uh, maybe you have to change your cleat position, you know, saddle height, like bars, like figure out which size you want, how it handles. Like it's not, maybe for an amateur, it doesn't take as much time because you don't ride your bike the whole time. But if you think you're a pro rider, like you're used to this bike, you've maybe ridden 15,000 kilometers so far on this bike, and so you probably got it in like early, um, early November, maybe, maybe similar about that time. Um, you've written a lot of Ks on it and suddenly it's changing. Like, I mean, I feel like they must have had this quite well planned uh, to do it or it's just a classic panic, like, oh God, we got a new bike and then suddenly everyone just has to do it. I mean, imagine the TT, there's a team time trial, like, Oh God, it really is absolutely chaotic from Fortuné Samsic. And I feel like this is just not what they needed before the Tour de France. I mean, unless, unless the bike is what's holding Bargui back. I bet he'll blame the bike when he, when he fucking wins the Tour de France stage. He'll suddenly be like, oh, it was just the bike, you know, it was holding me back. But let's be honest, it probably wasn't that. Um, but yeah, it'll be, I don't know, it'll be interesting to see what they, what everyone says about it. There doesn't seem to be much press about the riders. I guess the riders are probably like, you can't speak about this at all because it looks really bad if they were like, yeah, look, bikes are terrible. Um, but anyway, it's a completely interesting, a very interesting story and uh, took me by surprise a lot, like complete surprise. Um, so anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you enjoy this video. What do you think? Do you think Fortune and Samson should have changed bikes? They should have just like told Bargy, like, mate, just ride the look 785 OS and just harden up like it's all good. Or you think they should have pandered to Bargy, which I guess it's Bargy, uh, and actually change bikes? Because for me, I feel they shouldn't change bikes. It just doesn't make sense. Uh, but anyway, cheers for watching. I'll see you in the next video.